So hop into this one with no delay. Makes uh, makes for a nice fluent stream when you get that game back to back. Yeah, it's nice when I look back at the VOD later and 30 minutes of the VOD isn't just break. Yeah, but absolutely. Um, we don't so, really know much about these guys, though, No, eh? not too much. I think uh, I heard from the Overwatch coach that uh, looks like one Masters, couple Diamonds, some Platinums. All so, right. So it's like, your, it's like your average test of team. I wonder if this is a club or an actual yeah, varsity squad. Yeah, me too. Uh, there's a lot of varsity teams actually popping up it over is the nice last to see. year. It is super nice to see. I'd like to see a little more Canadian teams, but hey, we hey. take what we take. We take what we can get, sorry. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Bit by bit, mm -hmm. inch by inch. So Saints looked really good. At, oh, this is what, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Okay, I was <laughs> gonna say the, the, this isn't goats. Why is break here? Yeah, it's uh, King, Kingdom Heart likes to. So our our Doomfist heard the Doomfist there, and he almost caught him with a punch. Got him. Early pick. Jub Jub with that awareness there, listening for that charge up. Goes into the back line, gets one Ooh. punch onto the Moira, gets her down to one HP. He's finding all the targets that he needs to. Yeah. The DPS, the healers are yeah. all going down. He's just putting so much pressure on that back line. It allowed the tanks there from Saints to get in there and just take, uh, just do so much damage and take so much space that there's not a lot they could do. That point's unlocked and nobody's capping it. There's oh, one person someone, finally someone's on back there. finally. They woke up. They turned their monitors back on. That's good. That's, al that's always uh, a necessary evil. <laughs> Absolutely. So they're holding close here. They have all six. So this is looking really good for Saints. They got a lot of early alt charge there off of that fight. There wasn't a lot. And a big punch coming in from Jub Jub. Yeah, Saints just really prioritized getting this aggressive hold on this door. Yeah. So, so with, with the double shield meta, what, what, what's a good advantage for you to have is to be going aggressive early and then using that poke damage from your tanks to kite backwards. Okay. Yeah, so right now they are taking a little bit, they're, they're, they're trying to go a little bit too aggressive and they took too much damage on their shields, so now they're forced to fall back. We're gonna have a lot of alts on deck yeah. here in a second. Well, we just wiped two fights, so we have huge alt advantage right now. Yeah, Wallow kind of got popped right after Wraith Walk, but it doesn't oh, matter, he's going in. Big two picks. Oh, that's oh. the reload. All right, cool. The rest of the squad followed up though. He may, Wallow may not have been able to get all yeah. the kills, but everybody else is right there to clean yeah. things up. University of Pittsburgh, just they're just having a real hard time getting through this choke right now. So, coming online right now, we have four ults from the Saints. Okay, Jub Jub kind of getting a bunch of damage on him. He could not get through the door. Wall is going to look for it. He's got a good spot for it, but the Sigma is right there rocked. to shut that down. Big B coming out to keep that keep Wall alive. Okay, the big Sigma all catching two, forcing the beat out from University of uh, Pittsburgh. That but one he, didn't actually yeah. hit at all there from the side of Pittsburgh, so that's, it's a little rough. Yeah, it's super good for the Saints there. That, that ultimate right there would have just destroyed all hopes, especially since we used beat earlier to save our Reaper. This fight is getting scrappier and scrappier. Everyone's yeah. a little spread out, a little even, bit strapped for resources. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm a little bit lost. Oh. Big shift coming in. Oh, but a punch to get that shift out. But I mean, there's a 95% cap from Saints here. They're gonna get actually up to 97 by the time University of Pittsburgh comes back. So what Saints can do here, since they have such a big, like, bank of time, and it's a big pick coming up there, coming up from Walla, is uh, now it's a one it's a one team fight game. They could just stack alts, and if they win that, then it's uh, game over. Very true, and now more than ever, while you have the 6v5 is a good opportunity to get in there yeah. after that Reaper went down. Absolutely. Doomfist going in the back line and using that ult to get out, like I had said earlier. But he might go aggressive here. They really need a pick. Kingdom Heart actually finds the first kill in this fight alongside Jub Jub. And so many members of Pittsburgh just got smoked by everybody and Jub Jub's right in their face. And that's that one fight advantage. Now one there's, there's nothing done. they can do to touch. And Walla just going to fire the Death Blossom right in their spawn, essentially, just to shut them down even yeah. further. That was That'll really, that was a really good first point coming up from Saints there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job of holding that choke. They got a little bit overwhelmed because they went too aggressive and it forced them to fall back, causing a fight to be lost. But I mean, getting 97% off of that first cap, you're in a great position to take that point. And a little bit of a weight off your shoulders knowing that it is just one more one fight in the yeah, towers, basically. Absolutely. So even if you have a struggle, like say they didn't get that pick, right? And they go in and, and try and win a fight and it doesn't go the way they planned. You get you got so much ult charge off that. If they dry run, they have probably ult advantage at that point, and then you can just stack ults up because you have a whole minute and a half to do so, and mm -hmm. then you 
you just come back and win. There's a D.Va and a Brig pick that saw at one point. No, but we actually Mercy have Anna. Pharmacy combo as well here. Yeah, this a little is bit new. different. This is new. I have not seen this before. And Pittsburgh teleporting up to the top yeah. and going to get themselves onto the point. So the one downfall of um, of doing that strategy where you TP to point like that is actually Symmetra, as much as it is a tight point and she's somewhat good with her ultimate, there, she doesn't get as much value as somebody like a Reaper or a Doomfist gets. So when you take that TP there, it just it's a struggle. Now, so far... Big pick coming oh, out okay. from Ola. So, yeah, while finding the one pick, but two of Sinclair did go down before they even had their opportunity to get towards that point. So University of Pittsburgh going to get this first cap. Even on a lost fight here, Wallow getting that barrage, they're not going to be expecting much coming out from the Saints here because that fight being a lost fight for them. That charge so, so fast. Yeah, he got that barrage really quick and gets an early Deleted. pick on the... Oh, and he still has angle on these guys, too, yeah. so at least adds on a little bit of extra damage. And That's going to be three down, maybe? Almost. She's one HP. Jump Jump might be able to clean that up. Right okay. <laughs> Jump Jump takes care of himself, apparently, but it's still a good-looking fight right now for St. Clair. The mage going Fall down, though. Yeah. This is getting more and more even. Crypt's going to finish off Dusty, at least, I don't while even know going down. Look. Okay. The big Wero coming out from University of Pittsburgh, though. Yeah, so Huge scrappy, that's going to get three. Everybody's caught up in that. Slam that's up down, good. one down. That is winnable. The is extremely low, and it looks Their like... Their has to be low in resources. Absolutely. Jussie just barely keeping the mage alive. And there's that anti nade we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of an unorthodox comp here for... St. Clair, but at least yeah. now they have the advantage. They can set up where they want to. Yeah, this is this is probably one of my least. This is definitely my least favorite uh, point on Li Zhang Tower. Once the, the defending team has so much of an advantage because there's such tight chokeholds mm -hmm. in this current meta too. Those tight chokeholds just are make it so much easier for the defending team to set up a play. And jump, jump, jump popped yeah. instantly again. And then. Walla did switch off the Farrer now, so he's back to Reaper, but he gets stunned up by a McCree. So he's going to get shut down real quick. Yeah. That was just unfortunate Pittsburgh. timing. Pittsburgh just yeah. plows, blisses this point. Yeah. And there's uh, this one's going to get turned over very likely here for the University of Pittsburgh. Jub Jub just going for the early, that one pick, got some stall in, and he's going to get out with his ultimate like I talked about earlier. Yeah. yeah. Good play there from Jub Jub. Yeah, Got a good pick. Now they have a 6v5 coming into this fight. Hopefully they can uh, they can take advantage of that. And yeah, now that you pointed that out, that uh, the ult is like an escape tool. Like, it's supposed to be used as an escape tool yeah. in this meta. I'm noticing it more and more often. But now, both teams blitzing. Jump Jump once again. First one down in this fight. We, the Flux gets at Saints, least two. Yeah. And the Saints didn't have beat there because they haven't been playing Lucio this whole time. So it, uh, that Flux is just an easy win for University of Pittsburgh. And now, this is looking a little rough. Borderline 90% right now yeah. for University of Pittsburgh, and St. Clair has to touch somehow, but they've pretty much got most of the angles covered at this point. That unorthodox comp did not look to be what Saints needed. Oh, they're going to try and get there, yeah, and they do look, actually manage yeah. to get Kingdom Heart onto the point. This match are all If he can live out. here, this is big. He's not even getting pressured, it looks like. No. He needs to be with the team, though. Big yeah. Flux coming in from... Oh, there. Big Flux. Does go down for it, but does get one yeah. in return, but it is looking like it's going to be heavily in favor of Pittsburgh. Coal coming out from... Yeah, and gets punched out of Coal Essence. This is just unfortunate here for the Saints. Yeah, things definitely not going in their favor, but granted, they're not down just yet. Jub Jub going to try and get himself another pick. Meteor Strike. Goes down right afterwards, yeah. though. Although reinforcements are here. And they don't have that they don't have that Sigma shift. This is just like what happened to us last map. Alright, two going down. This is winnable, it looks like. Sigma yeah. going down. Jesse gets a kill as well on Wolfpack. And they're gonna clean this up. That jump jump stalled just long enough for the Saints to be able to get that regroup back in and get that Reaper alt off. That's exactly what they needed. Now clutching it out to try and keep this game or to keep the 2-0 dream alive yeah. in well, game I mean, number one. Metas are metas for a reason, right? They switch back to the meta comp and things seem to go a little bit better. Unfortunately, we are stuck on that ball due to trying to recontest with it, but uh, hopefully there's some we can do something with it.
I definitely needed it for Doom, the recontest, yeah, but Doomfist Dusty's getting is, so much pressure. Yeah, Doomfist uses all of his back ability door. to get in, and they got back cap. sneaky backdoor cap here from Pittsburgh might cost Saints dearly unless they can win this fight. Oh. I think that is the Sigma on the side of Pittsburgh with the ults coming out, but... Walla's back getting and a forth. bunch of big picks here. Okay, he's going to try and teleport out of there. That was... Risky as heck, but he doesn't manage to pull it off. He needs to be able to get back to point, though. Yeah, but the overtime ticker is going down. Yeah. Nobody home. This is going to be Pittsburgh taking the second part of um, game number yeah. one. If uh, I think uh, that that comp that they played coming out of uh, coming out there on that point, that first comp, I think that was uh, the detriment there. They lost the they lost the first 54 uh, percent that University of Pittsburgh took was due to that comp being played, and uh, that's a lot of time when it comes to 99 percent. Now, what exactly about the comp? I know meta is meta for a reason, but yeah. why wouldn't a a Farah in this case? So, or a so Ana it's not necessarily be... the Ana is the only thing I don't agree with. Okay. Uh, so Ana in this meta right now, she has a really hard time with shields, right? That's always something she struggled with. Right. So on a on a map like that, especially, there's not a lot of high grounds for an Ana to take advantage of, uh, in order to get value out of her abilities as well as her uh, like her healing and stuff. Right. So, like, say, for example, like, uh, a Numbani, when you have a lot of high grounds and you can position on high ground, you can lob that, that nade over shields and get value off of it. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty good start yeah. here for St. Clair on this third point. They're going to be able to hold this center area after yeah. getting the kill onto Dusty. Yeah, they get the point first and they catch out that Doomfist who is out of position looking for a pick. That's, uh, that's exactly what the Saints need right now. Okay, Pittsburgh are going to look to try and contest slowly but surely, but the point is going to get flipped over to St. Clair. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dusty just got popped, unfortunately, yeah. by Dusty. King of Heart looking for a boop there, and he actually gets the boop onto Sigma. All right. That is a great pick to get after your Moira just went down. Looking for another one, but playing a little bit aggressive. He might get picked off here. The mage is so low, but slowly but surely getting the health back, of course. And Jub Jub off the camera, he just 1v1 the enemy Doomfist. Let's go. It's a mage almost getting a little anxious, but uh, does manage to get the kill onto the opposing Arisa. Yeah, that just shows the uh, the faith that our tanks have in each other. That he knew that that Sigma Shield would be there to keep him alive. And, Are uh, Doomfist normally supposed to go diving after a Farah? No. Okay. No. I don't. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it just seems like once um, St. Clair wins a team fight, Jub Jub loves to get aggressive, and that's a huge barrage from Harshmondo. Yeah. Taking down two right away, and that's going to be the Sigma taking down yeah. another. It looks like Kingdom Art here is just going to be going for that stall, and he gets Oof. insta killed by a damage boost from Farah. Oh, yeah, that, that rocket kind of hurts. <laughs> And there we go. More going to clean things yeah. up. So this is going to get flipped over. So there's there's two ways here that you can deal with uh, deal with this Farah. And one is switching to that that uh, Widowmaker to try and get those picks. The only downfall is that if she's not hitting headshots, you actually have to hit three shots from Widow to kill a, a, a Farah with a Mercy on her. Okay. Uh, your other option is uh, the same as always whenever you're getting beat by a comp that you have no idea what to do. Is, uh, just just mirror, it. mirror it and play it better. Okay, jumped up with the flank and going to look oh. for the mercy, but not going to find him. Oh, just looking for the shot. And in the meantime as well, so many members of St. Clair have just gone down. Unfortunately, yeah. none of these shots find their mark here for Jub Jub. I mean, yeah, Jub Jub missing all those shots basically turns that fight into a 6v5. And, and Saints is already at a disadvantage there. It's unfortunate. Hopefully coming up in this fight, he can find, uh, he can find that crosshair placement onto their, their heads and maybe get, you know couple headshots and the switch off of the Widowmaker to the Tracer instead and when we have Walla with his Death Blossom right around the corner yeah that Death Blossom could be big here if they can get if they can bait out that Sigma shift got a little bit of a jump onto the far he's gonna just pop this thing yeah. right away and he's gonna he, find two yeah those two picks are big too the Moira goes down and Walla's just going on a tear right now getting four kills in that fight forcing University of Pittsburgh to regroup. Here I am thinking he popped it kind of early, but he managed to still get yeah. the two, and that definitely swayed the fight in yeah. St. Clair's favor. One thing about Overwatch that people I don't think realize is that you're, you don't need to get maximum value out of every single ultimate you use. Oh, yeah. You can get one pick or force one pick from using your ultimate onto a person on the enemy team. That, that can be fight winning. I remember you were describing Sigma's ult to me when he first came out. It's like, yeah, you could pick up the entire team, but you just need one. Yeah, the the one pick, one pick sometimes is way, is better than waiting to try and get that 
that amazing alt off. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all want play of the game, but yeah. sometimes you still got to go through it. Kingdom Heart gets the boop. But, Big uh, bongo kill coming over from Tracer there. And yeah, that was still pretty early. And let's see if Jump Jump can find a good stick. He does find the Sigma. And Almost gets out of there to his own bomb. <laughs> I was very surprised he didn't get picked off by that. Yeah. But he is going to eventually get taken down by the Moira. But the revenge kills are coming out back and forth. But a revive also coming out onto the Sigma for University of Pittsburgh. Overtime clock ticking down, but somebody's on the point. The Risa is here, trying to hold it as much as possible. Back and forth. Dusty's here with the tracer of his own to try and yeah. do it. That Dusty's right going to just laser him down, and that's it. Yeah. And that right there is the life of a main tank. When you see a <laughs> Reaper walking towards you and you're all by yourself, that's all she wrote. There is not anything you can do at that point. F's in chat. Feels yeah. bad, man. It's it's a rough life. <laughs> so what do you think? What map do you think is going to come out here? I mean, history I was gonna says say, if I'm it a, should be King's <laughs> Row. <laughs> yeah, if I'm a betting man, I'm going on King's Row. But, uh, Seems to be the way she goes this season, but... We shall I, see. I would like to see a uh, a, a Junker Town. I haven't seen Junker Town in a while. Funny enough, if it wasn't King's Row, then it's usually. Oh, but it's hybrid. I don't even know oh, what the hybrid right, maps right. are right now. I think we have King's Row. Man, I it's really like I should I need follow to, up with the yeah, map rotation. I need, eh? I need to do my research here. Let's, <laughs> let's pull, pull out the handy dandy cell phone and figure this out. But like, look at we were right. King's Row coming out as the second map. Yeah, just everybody seems to like it. Yeah, like I, like I said, it's just a great neutral map. Super fun to play. Anubis is still in the map rotation, right? Uh, two CP actually uh, is not in uh, the maps right now. It is there. There is okay. two CP in the map pool, but uh, as I, I'm bringing up, I'm bringing it up right now so I can show you actually as I'm talking about it. So uh, this is how it works. So it's Oasis Hybrid Escort is what's happening. So basically, or like this week is Li Zhang Hybrid Escort. So what happens is you play Li Zhang Tower first. Excuse me. And then you, uh, the losing team picks a hybrid. And if it goes to game three, the team who lost game two picks an escort map. Okay. Which the hybrid maps that we can pick from are Kings Row, Numbani, and Hollywood. Right. And so then two, two CP is just not even like, yeah, absolutely. a thing. So that makes sense. And then your escort maps that can be picked from are Dorado, Route 66, and Junkertown. So if this goes to a third map, maybe I'll get my wish and we can see some Junkertown. Maybe. Okay. So these guys are taking probably just yeah. two to three minutes now. I mean, it, now that I'm aware of the map pool 100%, King's Row, Numbani, Hollywood. Uh, I see why a lot of people are going with that King's Row strategy. Uh, King's Row, compared to the other two, uh, is just it's just more straightforward. Numbani, you can kind of get away with dive tanks. I hear a lot of complaints of Numbani. Yeah, Numbani, Numbani you can kind of get away with dive. Uh, just because of all the high grounds, you can take advantage of it. Right. If you can break that Bastion and force them off the high ground, the dive team actually has the advantage on that point. And then uh, Hollywood as well. Hollywood is is basically just Bastion be va Bastion. And a lot of times what you're going to see uh, when teams don't play Hollywood is that they, they struggle on that Bastion be Bastion matchup. Okay. So since you struggle on that Bastion v Bastion matchup, I mean, Dan, Dan, we don't need to see Danners, right? No. Uh, Danners can hide off frame. I'll just kind of peek in here yeah, for a so, second. There so we when go. you struggle in that Bastion v Bastion uh, matchup, is, uh, you definitely don't want to go to that map because that high ground, that cafe there, is just it's too good for a Bastion comp. Like It's literally just set up perfectly where Arista Shield covers everything. Farrah can hardly get a poke through. Right. Sigma can just sit up there with the Arissa where the, he's not getting poked because of the Arissa, uh, Arissa Shield from a Farrah if they're playing it and just... Sigma shield up the Pharah, and now you've cut out the Mercy and the Pharah. Yeah. So even something that's supposed to be good and break that comp, you're now nullifying any capable, like, capabilities of doing so. So if, if a team is not confident on the Bastion, you'll never see them go to Hollywood. It's, it, it's, that's, and I think that's why you see a lot of Kings Row. Probably, and it looks like we're about to get right into it. Game number two. Of course. Kings Row, who's starting off here on attack, I wonder? <laughs> I'm just overhearing the, yeah. the coach in the overhearing background. The coach, yeah. Everybody's picking off meta stuff, as you can kind of see right I, now. I think, I think Justin really wants to play that Anna. It is, it is the one downfall of... Wait, hit tab? Is, yep. just, is just... Okay, no, Lu no one's on Lucy. Okay. The one downfall of Overwatch, the game that I love so, so dearly is uh 
the meta seems to stick around for a really long time. So when you're really grinding and practicing like these uh, these players have to, uh, it, it gets boring. It really does. So I understand wanting to mix it up, but the comp is the time and place for that, not a match. Very true. I mean, regardless of what the meta is, we always have that one trick Torbjorn in your match right anyway, Absolutely. right? So. Jub Jub having some fun with his teammates there, walling them off as they're trying to get to point. I mean, everybody got set up in the meantime. They're all yeah. done giving Coach Q uh, an aneurysm, picking yeah. off meta stuff, but... It looks like there they're looking for a big wall here, and they get a wall, and I think they cut two off. Oh yeah, they cut a few of them off there. It looks like force them to kind of try and plow through, but they are going to save all their teammates, at least this yeah. time. They might not have got a lot of picks, but they forced a lot of cooldowns out of the enemy There's team. There's a lot of damage being yeah. done right here. Oh no. It's all right. Walla goes down, but this is just going to be clean up for Saints here. Now it takes absolutely forever to walk to this point, though, if you get taken out. Yeah, that way. but that's what Lucio is actually good for. If you should, if, if you look at Kingdom Hearts, he should be running back to pick up the Reaper. Yep, yeah, there he is. Just as you say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any good Lucio player, but I mean, then he just runs away from him and just lets them walk back nice and slow. I'll take you halfway and then uh, yeah. make you walk the rest. It's like, hey, can I get an Uber, please? Drops you off halfway to the destination. Okay, they do that's a big to freeze coming out of the signal yeah. with a wall to cut him off from his team, and that's a pick for Saints Gaming. Very nice. Nowhere to go there. And then essentially anybody who gets close to this capture point, Jub Jub's just freezing down, and the rest of the squad just plowing damage into him. This Arisa has no chance, and that's going to be another solid wipe here for St. Clair. That may pick on maps like King's Row, Hanamura, things with single choke points where the team just kind of are forced to walk through them. She, it's just so strong. Mm -hmm. you, you get If you cut off their tanks and you can get past their shield and freeze them, and just, you can just get a free pick off of it. So here's that fair thing. So what needs to happen here from Saints is that they need to block off that fair damage using Sigma shield since it's like movable so much like so much of the time. Right. Oh. Yeah, we're trading coalescences. Yeah. We got the bongo and yeah. Walla's finding the pick. So it's looking yeah. so far so good for St. Clair to start things off. Death Blossom also is getting used to try and just stop this fight in its tracks. And it's looking like all St. Clair right now as they send them back to their spawn. Yeah. So the nice thing about that Saints did there actually, and it's and it's a big reason why they actually won that fight. So you you, you notice the dueling coalescences, right? They yeah. both use coalescence. That bongo on the coalescence is huge. It does a lot of extra damage, and it actually nullifies the healing from their from their Moira. So any healing, okay. like it, it does damage on top of the of like the Moira's healing. So it basically, if you bongo and coalesce at the same time, you're basically nullifying her coalescence. God, in the meantime, apparently Jub Jub and uh, Walla just went on a side mission to pop the blizzard and just take everybody down before they even made it to the choke point. Yeah, I spent a little too much time explaining that, but I honestly wasn't expecting a, a, a commitment at that point. It's like, oh, they're still at their spawn. Everything's okay. We have time, right? Yeah. I guess not. Oh, King of Heart almost getting popped, but run for the hills. Oh, took a May of their own to try and get around, but... I don't think it's as effective offensively, though, you yeah. you think. I mean, it, it it's still... it's Her, her fight presence, her mid-fight presence is really good. Just because of that freeze, right? You get one freeze, it's basically a free pick. Right. And that's a blizzard coming out, and that huge Farrah just got popped huge instantly. Although Crypt is going to go down because of the blizzard, but jumped up in prime position to just yeah. get everybody who's on the attack right now for University of Pittsburgh. Doesn't matter if they have the bongo or not. Yeah. It's just a lone mercy. And walling off that retreat to just really, oh. really beat it into them. Freeze them and give them a little one-two in the face. Ow. Yeah. I mean, from Jub Jub there, he should have let, he should have killed her a little bit later, forcing right. the late respawn. But yeah, you want the stagger, right? Yeah, absolutely. And now we have a blizzard yeah. of our own. This plus is, we have three, we have four. five alts, five alts online here. Yeah, if the blizzard come out right there away. There is not much University of Pittsburgh can do. Although that's an it, early pick for them. The alt got eaten too from Jub Jub, so it does go down. That's a oh, nice flux though. Huge uh, on top of the flux. bongo. Big, big damage. Big alts coming up from the tanks there. Really, really clean. Nice gameplay together. And then Jussie finishes off harsh, and that's going to be a full hold for St. Clair. Nicely and done. That right there is what you want to see when you're on defense on King's Row. That is a nice hold. What did I say earlier in the cast? That it's, it's either you're going all the way to the final point or you're getting a full hold? Yeah, that's exactly what you said. And uh, we had an example of both of those today. It's one of those days, apparently. Yeah.
Saint, or yeah, the Saints here are looking a lot more comfortable on King's Row the second time around. I don't know if it's just because they're warmed up or what, but yeah, this entire match for the most part, other than part two of the the first game, they've seemed to be on a roll now. For the most part. Now, what on earth is so, happening here? <laughs> the, uh, the, the pocket comp... My, they were they were showing signs of the pocket comp. Uh huh. Yeah. The, the, they almost they almost brought it out in a situation where they didn't need to. I was gonna say you went kind of silent there. But <laughs> the, like, <laughs> I was wondering what you were kind of. Yeah. If you're worried so, about what they were picking. So basically, it's a, it's a comp that I kind of theorized, and I find it to be pretty good in like a close quarters Hello. environment. Okay, and what was it? I saw so, a widow and a Hanzo. That's not what it is. So no, you okay, got so a Ryan Zarya. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a brawly comp, right? You want to be in their face. Okay. You, so in order to do that, you have a nice May Reaper. You know, they're okay, really good yep. close range. Got lots of damage from that Reaper, lots of CC from the May. And then you actually play Lucio Brig. Oh. With Brig's new changes, she actually does a lot of healing if she can get in there into the team fight. Right. Uh, especially with that three armor packs, as well as the increased healing from her aura. Even though it doesn't heal her as much, uh, it does a lot. So basically, your your goal your goal in that comp is get in the enemy team's face and kill them. Okay. Yeah. I guess it could be good on this map considering the buildings kind of force you yeah. to be relatively short range. This is an interesting pathing coming out from the uh, the Saints here. Yeah, they seem to not be on the same page for the no. most part. That being said, nice Jesse, kick onto the pharmacy. Yeah, it gets the first kill and it's going to let St. Clair get onto the point. And the fact that they only have to get one tick on this map is making this look extremely positive. As Walla is just giving them a whooping here in the corner. Just one more down. This is going to be a quick match here. The 2-0 for St. Clair over the University of Pittsburgh. And we got to watch a little bit of that tracking I was talking about earlier from Walla. Mm -hmm. He's just one heck of a player. And play of the game going over to Walla. Is this the, just at the end here, maybe? Probably. You get to look a, a little bit of a closer look at that track. And we're and, denied. <laughs> and, and Vintage, the lovely Overwatch coach, pulls us out before we can watch play of the game. Uh, sometimes.